All right. Okay. Hello. Welcome. Things. Welcome in other languages. Um. Ah, uh, it's 2019, and I'm uploading a YouTube video. And of course, for some reason, the first video I decide to record, my support this game is Henjaro, whom I haven't played with since around the last time I made a YouTube video. Oh man, I just cannot stop smiling. Um, I hope the volume is okay. That's my main concern. But anyway, if you're going to watch this in five years from now, like I was doing with my older videos, um, ooh. awkward. Um, anyway, if you're going to watch this in five years, this is patch 9.3, and a lot of stuff is weird. Um, runes, you like. Oh my gosh, there's so much crap to go over, and I can't do it while invading. Um, basically, today is patch day, and even though there's so much stuff that you probably won't understand looking back in a few years, um, you probably know it now if you're going to watch it. So, if you're watching it now, you can see... Oh shoot. Cool, cool. Um... You'll know everything that's going on aside from patch day. So anyway, it's patch day. They just changed marksman items. Um, they they basically reverted crit items and Phantom Dancer is now like Sterox, in which case it gives you a shield when you're low HP or something. And... Um, so people are basically going to be building a lot of crit and playing characters that like Infinity Edge Seal Rush, like Caitlyn. Uh, I'm still going to play Draven, and we're just going to do our best in this matchup. Because Caitlyn Morgana can be really oppressive, but we have uh, Draven God, Thresh God in the mix, so I see no problems in this lane. Uh, as far as getting level 2, we did miss some XP. X flash. Nice. Oh, he's level two. Oh, fuck. Okay, E second, because I'm a genius. Okay. 10 million times out of 10, I'm going to go W second, but I adapted on the fly. Because it's 2019. Um, gosh, there's so much to say and not enough talent to say it. Uh, okay, so we got level 2, by we I mean he did, and then he engaged with Hexflash, which is great. Um, Hexflash, if you don't know, depending on when you're watching this video, um, basically still lets you have Flash, if Flash is on cooldown, except instead of just being able to Flash instantly, you have to channel it for like a few seconds, and then you decide which direction you want to Flash kind of like Varus Q. Think of Varus Q. That's Hex Flash. And um, I think I'm, uh, I'm going to get a ward. Really wanted to get boots. But anyway, um, so you had Hex Flash, went in. Caitlyn at the time was level two. Didn't appear to have net. She must have gone trap. Unless she did net, and in which case maybe he flayed it. Not entirely sure. All I know is He's doing work, so... Oh my goodness. Unfortunate. Um, okay, so education time. Let's think about what we can say. Um, so Vamp Scepter is a great buy. No matter what patch you're playing, Vamp Scepter Draven is so great. If you're going to play Draven, get some lifesteal one way or the other. It's so necessary. Um, Caitlyn Morgana, they seem to have walked mid lane to follow Thresh. Um... I don't think that's going to work out for them. Just because uh, we still had... Okay. It ended up working out for them. But for so that happens... It took so long for them to do that. I feel like that was my team's mistake rather than their victory. I feel like they could have just been less greedy. Anyhow, I'm going to push the lane. 
since it's already slow pushing to them, I want to try and get it to tower uh, before they get back. Maybe miss a little bit of XP. Uh, Morgana was just seen recalling, so maybe we can dive Caitlyn. Well, we could dive Caitlyn, but if I was there, so, well, anyway, got what we wanted. Got money. Let's spend it. Do I want boots right away? Uh, yeah. uh. Yes, I do. An ally has been slain. I'm not sure how to build exactly with this new patch. Uh, oh, that should be a kill. Oh, flash. Not a kill. Okay, good job, TF. Swiftness rush, TF. That's weird. Anyway, back to Draven. Um, so, I'm not sure what to build. Because patch day, they've changed all the crit items. Before Draven, these last few days while playing, I would just be like, okay, Bloodthirster or Death Dance rush every time. No reason to do anything else. Hit Caitlyn with that. Good job. Um, small play by play. Thresh just flanked them, forced them to react. I was able to wait on the lantern to dodge Morgana Q. And then, oh my gosh, okay. And then uh, focus Morgana. Caitlyn, I guess, hesitant to just abandon her teammate. But a selfless act, um, stayed within range of my stand aside, able to have Thresh do more follow up. And plus, I got boots too, so I'm really fast. Caught up to her compared to her no boots. So, not not saying that boots too is a great item to start early on Draven, because honestly, in history, it's not. Boots too is like, who cares about boots too? I'm dead. Okay. Um. I just had nothing. I really want BF Swords so bad, but I keep dying or recalling with like this much gold and it's so lame. Okay, um, instead, that would be dumb. Let's not do that. You know what, we're gonna go Death Dance. Unfortunate. Really wanted to go Bloodthirster first. Um,. Just because BF Sword feels so good with Thresh, uh, just the high damage trades with his abilities, and then if they immediately run away, then I still get like each auto attack counts. BF Sword's just so good for that. But gold sucks, so I'm gonna go weird build path this game. Um, I cannot complete one thought without something else happening, so I feel like looking back after at this recording, my commentary is gonna be all over the place, and I just feel really sloppy. Because I'm kind of just going in here talking about whatever's happening rather than having a plan of something I want to show off. So, not entirely sure um, what to speak on until it happens. And then after I'm done speaking about it, something else happens. And then I never complete the thought, so. Sorry in advance. Anyhow, back to the game. Uh, we have boots, we're fast. Morgana's level 5. We can, as long as we stand in minions, we can harass her like that. Lantern. Okay. That was super great timing for Thresh to come back. He had mobility boots, thank goodness. If he wasn't there, I would have had to use summoner spells, so yay for us. Um, one thing I did in that Morgana was once she started pressing R and he threw the lantern, obviously anyone with a brain is going to go click the lantern. Okay, cool. Uh, she flashed, so that's good. Um, anyone with a brain is going to go click the lantern. I mean, get out of Morgana Ultimate. Who doesn't want to do that? Instead, I sat in the Morgana Ultimate knowing it wouldn't proc the stun for another couple seconds and 
made Morgana bait out her Q to make sure that she didn't hit me, um, either traveling in the lantern or hitting me before I got to the lantern. So. Oh, that tower hit me for a buttload. Anyway, double kill worth. Um, always worth. Let's get that stance, whatever. Um, more attack speed. And more attack speed. Do two daggers. Do that. So we're really strong. Um, this has been a crazy lane. We're so, we're so ahead. Um, even though Caitlyn and I, like, well, I was going to say how close we were in everything, but actually I'm up in CS and in kills with less deaths, have more assists, so never mind. Caitlyn is just weak in comparison to me. She has, she's rushing that Infinity Edge, which once you complete it, it's it's really nice. And then once, especially once you get a zeal, it just becomes so great. But if you're behind and you're trying to build Infinity Edge just straight, it's like, it feels really bad. Because all you have is flat AD. And like, once every 50 autos, you'll crit. Like, that's so bad. By the way, one in every 50 autos isn't the actual math, so don't don't correct me on that. I know it's not real. Just feels that way sometimes. Um, yeah, so it just feels so bad. But whereas I, I have so much move speed, attack speed, life steal, damage reduction through death stance passive, like... I just have so many things, whereas Caitlyn has nothing. So she really just needs Morgana or Vi to make plays to do anything. Whereas I am kind of able to stand on my own. Ah, uh, sacrifice. Good job, Anjaro. Oh, shoot. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna go fight this guy. I don't know how it's gonna go down, but or he'll just walk away. Okay, never mind. I guess I can't fight him. Oh, he's coming after me. Oh shoot! Well. Yeah, Vi ult is going to do that. <laughs> Vi, Vi is just going to ult us. And it's going to work every time. I mean, Banshee's Veil, maybe. Obviously, I'm not going to get Banshee's Veil. Guardian Angel, sure. This thing, sure. Like, it's all helpful for one-time things. But if Vi ults me, I'm just going to have to hope I'm not mispositioned to where I die because of it. Uh, or just build tanky enough. Speaking of, I'm going to try out this um, new... Phantom Dancer, because I'm just going to go tanky, because recently, before this patch of reverting the items uh, of the crit and Infinity Edge, and just making more um, marksmen that want to build IE and Essence Reaver more popular, I'm going to um, going to just build how I've been building the last couple days, and just go like lifesteal, tank, items... You know, Death Dance, Phantom Dancer, maybe Mom Almordius. Um, just things that help keep me alive. Because I don't know if this is obvious or if I have to say it, but people love to assassinate or focus down 80 carries. Um, and I like to make people hit me because I really enjoy being hit. Um, and I enjoy it even more when I get to live after being hit and then people being mad that they didn't fully kill me. It just it makes me feel good. So I like doing that on Draven, just making people hit me. That's why I run in and feed a lot. I have four deaths where in reality if I just played like a normal marksman would, I'd probably have zero deaths. Exactly like that, we uh, probably didn't need to stand there. Pretty much just proved my point without even realizing it. Anyway, totally got caught out there. It would probably make sense to buy like a QSS this game, because I could get out of 
Or Q, Caitlyn Trap, TF stun. Um, even I think Silas has a stun. So Q says is probably really good, but before I do that, I'm going to build IE. I think I think that's the play. Because damage forever. Damage in the tank. I could get crit cloak, but I don't really think I want crit cloak. It just it won't do anything. I mean, I have 25% crit. How much crit does it give? 20. So 45%. It's a good percent, but it's 800 gold down the tubes where my axes aren't doing more damage unless they crit. So I want them to do more damage no matter what. Um, since a big problem on Draven is, you know, in team fights anyways, needing to catch your axes to do lots of damage. And if you can do it, that's great. You'll do a lot of damage. But if you don't, then you're basically useless, but you're even more useless if you have low AD. So, you need... You need damage to do damage. Lesson learned. Don't need crit. Yet. Okay, two people bought. Do I mean you know, one on my side, one on their side? Uh, I'm really extended. Like, this is so far up. But luckily, we won the fight down bot. So we can gain control of their jungle. Nunu's already kind of pushing the Vi out. I am super extended mid lane, but Thresh is nearby, so. And I, I, it's unfortunate that you won lane so hard. I mean, it's great for my elo, but sucks for the video uh, because a lot of it. A lot of what I wanted to do in my video. Not even just this one video, but like any reason to upload more than one video, especially since all I really care about playing is Draven. Like, if I were to make five Draven videos in a row, I mean, what's different? Who I'm attacking. So, I want my lane phase to be educational, and it can help you against those champions. So that's my plan, but lane phase was just kind of really over, because... Thresh Draven is so strong, and they got caught by Thresh abilities. We are so extended, it's crazy. I want that tower. Okay, Morgana. <laughs> Morgana like hasn't learned from the entire game that she can't just do that. I don't know. Dragons up. Get my BF sword. Ooh, got enough for this too. Nice. We got damage. Replace my trinket for a blue trinket, and we're rolling. But I used ult. Nice hook, but we're really low on HP. I don't know if there can be much follow-up. Almost there. Maybe I can help uh, scare them off. Maybe get some kills. I got Scuttle Crab movement speed here. Eh, whatever. Oh, I don't have ult. Oof. Oof, oof. Wait, wait, they're red buff. So greedy. Give me red buff. Okay. I was probably standing on a ward. Anyway, pressure. Now we can afford Infinity Edge. After Infinity Edge, I probably should get QSS. And I hate going QSS. You know what? I'm not. I'm not going to go QSS. That's too... That's too what every other marksman would do. And I'm not every other marksman. I am a feeder. And I'm going to go out with a feeder. I'm not just going to do what everyone wants me to do. And 
live. I'm gonna fight the fight the system. I'm gonna be the first to face check the unwarded jungle. Granted, I'm alongside Thresh, but. Uh, her black shield's down. Oop. And that's how ham I like to be. I am very low on mana, I'm now realizing. I'm gonna go recall, get some mana, get my infinity edge. And, um, just chill. Game's easy, easy game. 500? No, 600. I think I just go double seal. Wait. Undo, go for crit. We've already got so much attack speed to where one dagger won't matter, but any percent of crit is awesome. So. And everyone's using all their stuff, and we're winning. So, not only. Are they aced? Well, probably not aced, but basically aced. I haven't used anything. So I'm free, and they don't have all the resources, which means I'm probably unkillable. Okay, Baron. Oh, that was the real Twisted Fade. He stunned Nunu instead of me. Can we chase him? How fast is this guy? Oh, he has the Hextech Gunblade slow. Her ult is back. Unstoppable. Helping. Yay, team! Thank you for enabling me to succeed. Yeah, commentary is so hard, and I was I was going back. I'm making this video basically because I uh, went back and watched some of my old YouTube videos from a few years ago, and a lot of what I was saying was really uh, well, as well articulated as it could have been for me at that point in time in my life. But it's like. Just my confidence and knowledge about the game. Even if maybe I was wrong, I was still um, confident in in everything I was saying. Whereas now it's like, you know, I just play Draven. I spin the axes. Sometimes I kill people. Sometimes I die. Oh. I didn't have any mana. Couldn't spin axes. Um, I thought I was going to die during that Nunu ult channel, the enemy Silas Nunu ult channel. So, because I have Death Dance, so I thought I was going to take the damage over time and it would eventually kill me. So I went back in for another auto. But I think I would have actually lived. I think, like, in hindsight, I think I would have lived and I didn't have to walk back in and then Caitlyn got in range to auto me. So I think I could have actually walked away there. But no worries, we're rich. Uh, Zeal, Shiv. Now what? Uh, sell that. Try not to die. Okay. I went Shiv and Phantom Dancer because today's patch day, as mentioned. Probably said it like five times. And, um,. The items have been changed, so Shiv is good because the damage from the actual Shiv Lightning, I believe, was buffed. I probably would not have done that if this Thresh was any anyone else. And you're probably saying to me, Jordan, you could have lived 
if you had Flash. And I'm here to tell you, living there wouldn't have been worth it. It's way better to die. Because I got to Flash with my old pal, Hendraro. And that's priceless. Um, and we had a health, so we didn't die instantly, which felt nice. So, yeah, I think that's just going to be the end of the game. Um, we had 20 kills. Didn't really feel like it. We got carried. Even though we were the one doing all the damages. Well, a lot of the damages. Vygar was really fed, too. Um, just, um... Just spin them. Spin them. And then the Nexus goes away. So... Anyhow, that is my extremely scuffed commentary first video back. Uh, I didn't even press the victory. I did not have a scene set up for the lobby. I didn't press continue. I don't know why it left the victory screen. I was planning on sitting there for a minute and talking. But now there's a black screen, so I'm going to cut it a little shorter. Anyway, I don't know what I'm going to say in any other video in the future. Uh, I'm probably just going to keep playing Draven. Maybe I'll upload a different Marksman if I feel like it. But I play Draven and feed on Draven, so I'm mostly just going to be doing different matchups and see how that goes. Uh, I'll sure once a few videos in, I'll get my knack back in it for commentating and maybe say something educational or helpful. But for now, um, we've got this. Anyway, thanks for watching this far. And, um, <sighs> I guess watch it again. Just hit replay. Thanks.